We arrived in Bridgerton style in very English weather to the majestic Althorpe Estate, 13,000 acres and at its center, the childhood home of Princess Diana, where she spent her teenage years and current home of her younger brother, Charles Spencer. Thank you so much. Hello. Wow. Welcome, Molly. Welcome to Althorpe. Come, come on in, please. Off to you. This is the entrance hall to oh. Althorpe, and uh, yeah, it's rather dramatic, but it's, what? I think, one an of... an entrance. But it's not overpowering. I think the whole point of this house, you know, it is obviously of a scale, but it's not bling, it's not overpowering, I no, hope. I could get used to this, as I mentioned, <laughs> I mean... It's an entrance and a house fit for a spicy 19th century Regency-era romance. You walk into that house and it's immediately it's it's immediately apparent that it's a family home and there's a warmth there and everything is just so opulent and elegant and I really wanted to capture the spirit of a family and the love that a family holds for each other. Bridgerton creator Chris Van Dusen says he visited Althorpe in 2018, unbeknownst to Charles Spencer, only later tweeting out his inspiration. Elegance, opulence, and that hashtag staircase. <laughs> what was your reaction? I think it's fabulous. It's a huge compliment, not to me, because these designs have been here for a very long time, but to my ancestors who were lucky enough to be able to employ great artists to make the interior of Althorpe great. And there they are living on in a slightly different form. And this is the main staircase with family portraits, including one of Princess Diana keeping watch. The staircase, this staircase. is so dramatic. It's the scale of it, isn't it? It just pulls everything together, and I can see this would have an appeal to a creative guy. Well, and it really allows for kind of grand entrances. It does. When I was writing the pilot script, I actually wrote that there was this grand central staircase in the middle of Bridgerton House with portraits suspended above it, much like Althorpe. Those words are literally in the script. So yeah, this is, I guess, what we're gonna have to call the Bridgerton room now. Van Dusen um, says many of Althorpe's rooms stayed with him as he developed the show. Yeah, this is called Painter's Passage. These are all self-portraits. Among the paintings, yeah. Earl Spencer has added a few of his own modern touches. This is a, the showstopper room in the house. <laughs> and here in the picture gallery, surprises snuck into the 500-year-old family collection. People get whiplash when we have the public walking past. They, they see all the 17th century and then suddenly there's something from 2008. A portrait of Britannia, a representation of modern Britain. All of it in an effort to keep the house alive and kicking for generations to come. Now, Earl Spencer says he thinks a lot about not only how to preserve this house, but also how to modernize it and grow it. And certainly being the inspiration for hit shows like Bridgerton helps a whole lot. But guys, what a house. I'll send it back to you. Holly, what an incredible house. I have to tell you, my mind is blown. You got to interview Princess Diana's brother. What was he like? What was that moment like for you? Incredible. He was extraordinary and so generous, inviting us into his house, showing us uh, where they grew up. He spoke with us kind of about childhood traditions, about his family, and we did see that beautiful portrait of Princess Diana above the staircase. Really pretty incredible, Kristen. So anybody scrolling Zillow looking for a 15-bedroom, 13-bathroom <laughs> house, we now have you to help give us the private tour. Molly, thank you so much. What a trip. Truly the Thanks, assignment Molly. of a lifetime. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.